Hi, I'm Alex Stutchbury and welcome to Art Class, the series of videos teaching you the key skills needed to create great art. Today I'm going to teach you how to construct interesting pop-up mechanisms so you can make your own interactive books. Here are the objectives. Understand the different mechanisms that can be used in a pop-up book and learn how to maintain quality when manufacturing the mechanisms. Now there are going to be two videos to this pop-up mechanism project that I'm showing you. This first one is going to have more basic pop-up mechanisms and then the second video, if you watch it, is going to show you more complex designs. Let's get started. Spring mechanism. For this one, take a piece of paper, cut a strip of about one centimeter wide and fold it back on itself several times. Once you've done that, get the piece of card that you want to open as a page, fold it in half, and then choose the image you want to get. Cut out the part that you want to stand out, and then glue both ends of the spring mechanism, attaching one to the picture that you're wanting to spring out, and the other end to the inside of the folded page. Close it, press it down, and then there's your first spring mechanism. Door mechanism. First, get the page and the picture that you want. Fold it in half, that will create the page opening. Then work out which part you want to cover up. So in this case, the footprint. Cut out a rectangle just larger than the actual page and then fold over a tab of about one centimeter. Add glue to that tab, lay it on carefully so it will fold out and uncover the footstep underneath. Press it down and then when you open it up you can fold out the door. Carousel mechanism. First Work out which part of your page it is that you're wanting to spin. In this case, the moon picture. Then fold your piece of card in half so it opens up. Cut out your moon image. And then using some blue tack underneath and a sharp pencil, pierce one hole through the actual card itself. And then pierce another hole through the center of your spinning disc. Then with a split pin, Put it carefully through both the spinning disc and the piece of card. Fold out the back pin edges. And then if you want to cover up the shiny element of the split pin, you can do. And there you go, a spinning moon. The fold mechanism. This is a simple design. Fold your card in half and then fold one triangle into the spine of the card on the top or bottom edge. Then open the card out and push the V-fold through into the middle. And that will act as your hinge as you open the card up. Mouth mechanism. Fold a piece of card landscape and then in the middle of the spine cut a, about a two centimeter line. Fold a triangular flap one way and one the other way. Try and make sure they are even. Then fold them back, open the card up and push the folds through. Then it will spring open. Then maybe what you need to do is mount this piece of card onto a larger piece so it creates a back to the actual mouth opening. So it's not a hole showing straight through. So there you go, some basic pop-up mechanisms. Give them a go and try some different variations and create your own interactive book with them. Watch the second video to see more complex designs and see if you can also work your way through those. I look forward to seeing how you get on. My name's Alex Dutchbury, goodbye. To learn more, watch video two, Complex Designs.